Hello YouTubers and Big Shavers, uh, Paul here. Um, today I'm doing a shave with the uh, Aramis uh, Pass Around Soap um, that was started by uh, Simon from the Big Shave. Um, I'm going to be uh, using the uh, my uh, Thader uh, two-band silver tip um, and I've actually already um, loaded the brush on the puck here in my scuttle um, and I when I, uh, I did soak the brush and I uh, uh, squeezed out the excess water uh, to try and get the water uh, and I out of the brush and I pretty much loaded the brush dry and uh, I've uh, given it a good uh, minute or so loading uh, and I've actually got a nice uh, I've got a lather uh, formed on top of the puck there um, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and give this a try I, uh, I did try this uh, soap yesterday and uh, I was not really successful with it. It seemed uh, uh, fairly thin, uh, was not very slick and not very cushiony. Um, and uh, so today I'm going to give it another try uh, and I thought I would video it today. So um, we'll go ahead and give this a try, see if we can uh, manage a shave with it. Um, I don't have uh, high hopes for this soap. Um, <clears throat> I also used, uh, I'm using the distilled water that I heated in the microwave. Um, and uh, uh, this was a suggestion by uh, uh, Jens uh, to try distilled water uh, because uh, I guess he had read somewhere that hard water uh, negatively affected the uh, lathering ability of this uh, soap. So um, I'm using distilled water. I'm not using my tap water with this. And uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a try. So go ahead and start lathering up here. Um, the soap smells pretty good. Um, it's not my favorite scent, but it, it's it's not bad at all. Um, it smells pretty pretty nice. It's a pleasant uh, woody, spicy smell. Um, so, and I would say that the in the bowl the uh, the soap actually looks pretty good. So we'll we'll see how we what we manage here with the. See if we can manage something here that's uh, shavable. Um, it seems right now that it is kind of bubbly, um, and we'll see if it uh, sticks around on my face long enough to actually shave. Uh, yesterday, uh, as I lathered this stuff up, it would, you know, create like a lather, coating a lather on the face, and then as uh, as you let it sit, it just kind of faded away to nothing. So. Um, I have prepared my face by washing it with the Musco Real uh, soap um, and uh, I've also applied some Perrazzo uh, white and uh, I'm going to be using my Weber DLC with a feather blade in it and so we'll go ahead and give it a try. So uh, it feels a little slicker than yesterday. Um, yesterday I had the bright idea of using a straight razor with this soap, uh, which turned out to be not so good. Um, ended up with a couple of nicks uh, on the first pass um, and just said, uh, just aborted the whole thing and uh, went ahead and used the Perrazzo Blue and finished the shave and actually managed a pretty decent shave in spite of the like, two nicks that I got. So first pass, not too bad. Go ahead and give it a... This Thader brush was like the first real shaving brush that I got. I, uh, well, the second shaving brush that I got. The first one I got was with a straight razor uh, set that I got from Straight Razor Designs, um, and it was a uh, um, Simpson Beaufort Four, which is a, a pure badger brush, and uh, and um, that was really really scratchy. I didn't really care for that, and I ended up giving it away uh, to a friend of mine, and. Uh, um, Yes, he is like actually still a friend, 
Um, but uh, I didn't care for it. And uh, when I got this brush, I had no idea what the difference between two band and three band. And, um, you know, I just knew it was a silver tip and I liked the way it looked because it was black and, and white basically because of the two band. And uh, as it turns out, the uh, two band brushes have turned out to be amongst some of my favorite badger brushes. Um, they seem to lather uh, really nicely. They have a good backbone, but yet really soft tips. And this uh, fader is really great. It has really a good backbone and super soft tips. Um, and uh, I, I really lucked out because it's a good brush. Um, um, and uh, I didn't know diddly about shaving brushes, but I did end up uh, uh, just by sheer blind dumb luck uh, getting a good one right off the bat. Um, so second pass, uh, um, not bad. Um, the soap does seem kind of thin to me. Um, and uh, I'm just looking in the bowl, you know, that was kind of a nice rich lather in the bowl. And now that it sits for a while, all the bubbles uh, kind of dissipate and now the soap's sort of fading away in the bowl. And as you can see, when I put it on, it, it seems kind of lumpy. I, it's actually the bubbles in the, in the soap um, that are making it look that way. Um, and I am using it fairly, fairly dry. Um, because I found if you overwater this soap, you'll basically have, by the time you get done lathering, one side of your face will be nothing left on the other side of your face. So, although it does seem to be using this particular technique, seems to be a little bit slicker than it was yesterday. Um, yesterday I got absolutely no slickness whatsoever. So, here we go, pass number three. I'm also using today a razor and a blade combination that I know works really well for me. So. I'm just going to do one more against the green pass on my neck and then we'll call it good. I will say that using the distilled water with this soap seems to help somewhat. Um, it's still not great, but it's definitely a lot better than it was yesterday with the, just using the tap water. Okay, <clears throat> I'm not going to do any touch-ups today with this soap. I just don't feel like it is really protective enough to to, to do that. And uh, I 
I'm just gonna call that good and we'll see what we got. Uh, not bad, pretty smooth shave. There's still a little bit of roughness right through here. Uh, this side's pretty good. Um, but uh, all in all, not bad. Um, I don't feel a, a lot of irritation. I think it might have got one little leaper nick right here on my Adam's apple. Um, but uh, all in all, um, given the challenges of lathering the soap, I think uh, uh, not a bad shave. Um, uh, I think it's pretty obvious uh, I would not buy this soap. Um, first of all, you know, the fact that you have to use distilled water to, uh, to even get a passable lather with it, um, uh, to me is just way too much hassle. Uh, and it's not uh, not worth it. I, I don't think the smell of the soap uh, is is so great that I have to use it. And uh, um, there's so many other good soaps out there that actually lather easily and lather nicely that uh, fooling around with this stuff uh, just is, doesn't make any sense. So um, probably the best thing to do with this is this. washing your hands, using it as hand soap. Uh, I, I really don't think this, this stuff is, uh, is uh, uh, worth, a, worth a hoot. Um, so anyways, guys, uh, that's my uh, shave with the Aramis. Uh, this will be going off to Michael Friedberg next. Uh, Michael, good luck with it. Uh, maybe you'll have better luck with it than I do, than I did. Um, at least I got a decent shave. I didn't end up with uh, two nicks on the first pass, just one little weeper right here on my Adam's apple. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I think for today, I'm going to use a little uh, spike uh, balm. And I'm going to mix a little 444 gel with it just to get a little menthol in there. And, uh, and then we're going to call that good. So I, I like the smell of the spike bombs. Remind, it smells a lot like the uh, other spike products. And... Uh, it's uh, not super oily, seems to rub into the skin pretty nicely and uh, leaves the skin feeling nice and hydrated, uh, moisturized, um, and uh, um, calms any irritation that you might have. Although today, um, I, my, I don't feel particularly ir irritated. Uh, uh, my face feels uh, pretty good. So anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, I will see you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.